this one if I wouldn't have just bounced off bottom and like, oh, let's go over here and see what's over here and drop down and boom, octopus. Yeah. That's how you find them. Okay, right. so now what we got to do is zoom in on a stop and try to do a picture zoom on one of these find, creatures. Oh, what's this? So let me turn on your uh, class Harris for you. It's this little white thingy. Yeah, that's what I'm going to look at. It looks kind of like an urchin, maybe. Is it better with down lights off? Oh, yeah, that's much Most better. definitely it is. Yeah, I think we turned down lights on so we could get better footage with the uh, still cam yeah. of the octopus. Is that an urchin? I don't know. It could be an enemy. Anemone? 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 Anemone. 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 Go for zoom. Going in. Oh yeah, look yeah. at that. Oh, other way. Looks like a... I think it's an enemy. Can you go more? Absolutely. It's an enemy. An enemy. Well, that's pretty weird. It's a cool looking one. I like it. Looks like Dang a flower. An enemy. Oh. Like trying to move this. Some flower. It's really hard. There you go. It's, it's <gasps> Got it in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty neat. Anything good for dinner? Yes. So it was actually a salad with, with uh, avocado. avocado. Yeah, avocado. Oh, yeah. Oh, we had guacamole for lunch. The avocados must be going bad. Did you have chips with uh, guacamole? No, I no. just put it on bread. <laughs> guacamole <laughs> is very good on the ship. I really like it. It is. It just, they wish, I really wish they'd put out chips. I really want to poke it. <laughs> yeah, we haven't had chips, like, ever. I don't think yet. No. We haven't had any chips. We used to do chips with the guacamole. I know. Chips were like a thing. Yeah. Oh, there's a little polychaete underneath there. Oh, yeah, oh. Video, there. zoom in more. Yeah, I think I got a little bit more zoom. Ah, no, that's nope. full. Yeah, that's it. I mean, she could slide forward and uh, you can put it. You racked all the way forward? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Got to that. drive forward. Pull it just right. So as Dan was saying, is if you see it in a uh, bubble, then you just uh, tilt your camera straight down, and you might get like a real cool view right above it. Okay. Can you zoom out? Pull out a little bit. The so same you're one. You're way far away from that thing. I know. I didn't want to. Oh. Okay. I didn't want to like dust it out on my first landing. It was a really nice landing. Yeah. Up. Oh, I'm gonna get kicked out of my spot. <laughs> hey. Megan, what kind of sea cucumber is that? <laughs> uh, it's a Paleopodiades. I don't know whose mic is is um creaking like that. I'm not sure either. I think yeah. it's happened in the past a bit. Okay. I can try to track that down though. Oh. See a little bit dusty. A star, yeah, it's wild. Oh, yeah. Stem sea kids bought a bunch of them. Yeah. I had to I put it down see something else I was though. sitting there just continuous. Especially Let's find something else. Like this is so satisfying. Also, do we have a estimate for when we've got? Uh, the hydrophone, we're waiting for the hydrophone array to come down, is that correct? 
Yes. We are. We have about 1,200 meters yet to go. All right. Thanks, Lynette. Yeah, of course. This is kind of like some octopus. a rare opportunity to <laughs> just want to hang out. Under Drive the water. around. Drive around, yeah. Oh, there it's flying. There you go, get the flying one. If you sat down, we can uh, play oh, with Oh, it's the coming up, so. Oh, careful, though. Okay, Megan, can you tell me again what, what which one this is? This is Paleobodites. Yes. Ah. Are these the ones that are sometimes called the headless chicken monster? Yeah, that's right. It looks like I, I don't know why they came up with that name. I don't know where it came because from. It I just like know it's... I was on Okeano. Someone said it <laughs> on the stream, and it kind of just stuck. We're going to do a quick uh, handoff of video for dinner. All right. He's like, dust. Dust. He's like, I was trying to run away, and I'm trying not to... Scoop you up in my thruster. Oh no. On the porch. Yep. Landed. I collected, sampled. There you go. Uh, he fell off. Alright. He's still flopping around over there. Alright. Bye. Go somewhere else. <laughs> Oh, it would be really cool if we pulled the box out and then just landed in the box. <coughs> Did you see the sea pig earlier? I saw a bunch of sea pigs. What's this thing? Is that a munopsid isopod? Oh, it's running. Oh, it's going somewhere. So how different is it for you to be in control of the video instead of just watching someone else control the video? That's kind of fun. <laughs> I like it. You're like, I can annotate why I fly. I was like, oh, I want to look at this thing. Look at this thing. Like, how many times have you found something on one of your videos that you're like, oh, I want to see more of it, and they did not? Oh, so many times. I usually have, like, conversations with myself about it. Who's in control again? What do you think that thing is? I think it's a Munopsid isopod. Yeah, I, we saw one of those earlier and someone um, wrote in to, we, yeah. We misidentified it. As a sea spider? As a sea spider. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then someone wrote in and was like, oh, it's an isopod. We're like, all right, cool. And then I was like, wouldn't it be Kinda. an octopod? That wasn't as good a landing. Oh no, all my dust from behind me. It's coming for you. Oh, it's a big one. I'll wait for it. I also wanted to park so I could see this thing too. Right on, we got uh, folks joining us from Egypt, the Philippines, Romania, Australia, United Kingdom, Canada, United States. Thanks for hanging out with us. We are on Nautilus Expedition NA-151. We're at the Cascadia node of Ocean Networks Canada's uh, physical infrastructure on the sea floor. We're waiting for a instrument to be delivered to us by the ban banana crane. And uh, the instrument is, is gonna be, it's a hydrophone array. So it's gonna record all sorts of sounds under the water for us. Do you think that thruster trick would work, Jake? Maybe. You can give it a little bit of forward. Yeah. Just a little bit of forward thrust. You have to come off stick lock, though. If you're I can't hear you. What's that? Sure. Uh. 
I guess it's not. Nope. Lost cause. Huh. Well, I think we can look at my other thing. C pen? Yeah, I think it's a C pen. Down is up, up there. A whale? Did I hear a whale? A whale? Go for zoom. <laughs> what is it? It's I'm having a, a whale of a time. It's a stick. It's a sea stick. I don't know. It was something. Hmm. All right, zoom out. Isopod, can we see you now? Probably not. Probably not. I kind of messed that one up. Okay, if you want to just uh, turn and head south. Well, you know, probably should get dinner before it's still dinner again. Oh yeah, you probably should. But that means you can drive. Yay, I get to fly again. Enjoy the cake. Did you mute before you unplugged? Oh, you did, okay. Job, Megan. <laughs> oh, look, Megan left me with awesome visibility. That's how she rolls. <laughs> Okay, we're going to bounce off bottom here and uh, see what happens. Bouncing off bottom. Roger. Bring, bringing Adeline to heading around. Am I going the wrong way? I'm not. I'm going the right way. Yay. Let's see what's over here. Like an anemone? Another an anemone. Mm. Looks like a good one. Can you zoom in a little bit, uh, video? Beautiful. Do you want it past the doohickey? I'll just try to get an idea of where we were. Okay. Yeah, Alan was dragging me. Yeah. Head off. 
towards you a couple more meters of... I'll just go leave. back south. But at what depth's that beacon right now? Okay. I guess I could probably check it, never mind. 1,600. 1,000 to go, sweet. Yeah, 1,600 meters. Hmm. I think that was a decent landing. Maybe I'll go down and have some cake. Looked like good cake. Let me know how it tastes. I don't think I'll do that. Okay. Bridge nav. Can we have one zero meters north, please? Thank you. Yeah. Bridge nav. <clears throat> Can we add another 10 meters? Make it 20 total. Thank you. Heading back south. I'm gonna head over to the, uh, just come up and clean ourselves yeah, off so yeah. we don't have muck on us when we're making the hookup. Coming up on the winch. We're gonna come underneath the uh, Adelanta here. has changed its heading, so I'll have to go get another uh, fix on the hydrophone.
So my other fixes are wonky. I'll just sit here for a minute and get some average hits. Looks like. Yeah. I need to reset TVO. Probably. Just about five, ten meters of offset of the USB openings. Uh, snail trails if you want. Yeah. Reagan is come loose there. Video changing back up. <coughs> Where is it? Hi, may I ask a couple questions? Yeah. Shoot. Okay. Have creatures ever hitched a ride from the bottom to the top? What was that question? <clears throat> Have um, creatures ever hitched a ride from the bottom to the top? I'm thinking um, yes. I don't know how far from the bottom, but just the other day, we had that black fish that Rye was walking around with. Anybody remember that? I do remember that. Yeah, we also have those two um, lantern fish. Mm. Lantern? I don't. I don't remember what did yeah, that one look like. Yeah, I think there are two There are those. Th well, there was three little minnow-looking things with the little bioluminescent cells on the side. Mm. It was just before that black eel-looking fish. Mm -hmm. Forget that. What, what that was? We also had that squid. Oh yes. Squid came up on this trip. But that's that's it, I think. Good question. Why is it so slow? How 
do you do this thingy? So double click there, like where you want the reset to go. And then you can go to, oops, Herc Vehicle DVL. Change that to Cursor. Send reset. So in theory, You're the, an auto XY though, I, think. I know, in theory, the ROV should now move, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, is, it is moving. Yeah. <laughs> Just there testing. You know. <laughs> Drive an ROV with an nav screen. So, uh, I've got this mud all over the ROV. The uh, platform is really. I'll have Hydrophone 3 now. <coughs> so I'll give it a minute and let it uh, get some hits. That's really where it is. Well, on this heading. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> to do HP3, it I'm gonna put in the vessel heading on the. <laughs> okay, we have a couple more questions. Still okay to ask? <coughs> Did, did you put another waypoint there, or just the X? No, do you want one? Yes, please. <coughs> it can blow the other two away. Yeah, we can't do that. What? <laughs> I didn't write this software, man. You can't, you can't. Once they're in there, they're there forever. Yep. Are you what? kidding me? Um, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so gonna, they're gonna mess Franny's world up. I should do that on his birthday. Why are there 20 hydrophones <laughs> as well? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Let me tell ya. <laughs> I was waiting for a sonar day. I was waiting for a hydrophone. Here it goes. Um, have you yet discovered a new species or found an extremely rare specimen? Found a new species growing in my coffee cup yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> With examination and definition, have you been able to name this new species? <laughs> no, but I'm sure my wife will when I get home and we finally wash the thing. Thus <laughs> 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 ruining all the flavor that's built up over the last 90 days. 90 days. That's how long we've been on here for. 90 days. Uh, almost 90. I, I lost track. Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> mm, another question about the hitchhikers that come to the surface with the ROVs is, um, are they still alive once they reach the surface? And will they be used for research samples? They are still alive, but typically the scientists have to, they're very particular about uh, collecting samples, where, when, how. So the hitchhikers usually wind up um, 
collecting in the the a lot of the ROV pilots are fond of dead things. Some of our ROV pilots are, so there's a pile of dead stinky things on the collecting on the RV, RV samples, workbench. RV trophies. RV trophies, yeah. If you come down to the ROV shop, there's a bag of them on the tack to the wall. Sometimes the scientists do some of that. They'll pick up some trinkets, but uh, uh, for the most part, we have to go behind the scientists and clean all that stuff out so the boxes aren't contaminated for the next uh, for the next dive. So make sure there's no leftovers. Thank you for your guys' hard work. Cleaning and cleaning. Yeah, sometimes it can be. Yeah, all the rock stars come in and get all the samples. And we're out there with a wet vac, getting muddy muck out of the bottom of a box. To worth, every, worth every second to see them come out collect their trophies off the vehicle. Their prize, I would say, a prize for a lot of <coughs> years of hard work to get to that point. To I like the way you word that, because it's so true, because they're working hard for what might seem like forever to get yeah. to this, this particular expedition. Yeah, years of planning go into mm -hmm. these types of cruises. Yeah, besides all the years as a starving student, and then it's, you know, <laughs> yeah. years of planning, writing grants. And Proposal well, writing, securing ship time. I hate to think of the logistics that go into one of these expeditions. It keeps a lot of people busy. Yeah, the, the thing that blows my mind the most is organizing all the personnel to get to and yeah. fro the ship. And the light. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. yeah. Getting there with hours to spare. <laughs> I know. Yeah, you you cut it close. Oh yeah, a couple times. <laughs> Not intentionally, but. <laughs> with delayed flights and cancellations, it just happens sometimes. Yeah, the travel's been challenging the last uh, couple of years. What is the funniest thing you've seen on a dive? I want to say it's the googly eyes. Oh, uh, <laughs> that was good. I'm trying to think. I feel like I hear funny things more than I see <laughs> funny things. Does it, does it pan in it? It does. I want to actually pans right nicely. I figured if we tried to hit it this time, then we'll only have to move a little bit. <laughs> that did quite have a nice arc coming around to that position. So. To answer your question, Mel and I, about the funniest things, um, it was it to go off of you hear funny things more than you see. One of the last dives of uh, last year's season, I forget who it was, but there was someone who just could not stop laughing every time they saw a shrimp. <laughs> and we did a, a compilation video of it, and it was just infectious. It was, it was very funny. <laughs> My shrimp. Because apparently they look funny when they swim. It's true. I don't understand why this person was laughing, but consistently they saw it when they saw shrimp and very, very hard. And it was it was a good time to edit because it's a very infectious laugh. That wouldn't have been Gabby. That sounds like Gabby. I wish I could remember the name, but 
Was it a, a boy or a girl? I think it was. I don't. I don't know. Where can we find this video? Uh, it's probably on, or it is definitely on the Nautilus Live YouTube page. Mm. Um, I forget the name of the video, but it would have been sometime, maybe around November of last year. Yeah, I believe that was Gabby. Very infectious laugh that. <laughs> yeah. Still have mud coming off this machine. Apparently, there was some snorting yesterday. Not sure if it was related to the dive or not. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to come up to 30, Jake. You want to chase me up? All right, coming up. Please find the name of that video. Okay, let's see what I can do. Shrimp. Someone laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Ulrika's <laughs> on it. <laughs> Now you have to now you have to join SPL so we can hear your laugh. Or you, the or you don't want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. Dan, are your earphones noise canceling also? No. Just video. I don't know if there's are. I don't think there's are. I don't know if they're officially noise canceling, but they do a pretty good job. Okay. I'm holding that 30. Roger. Ish. <coughs> oh, I better check my double tap bug. Oh, my altitude or depth? Depth. I don't want to be. These ones are about done and are ready for another pair. Should have only done ten minutes. Yeah. Last time we moved twenty, it only moved ten. The snail trail didn't. like disappearing snail trail. Yeah, that's kind of the thing with clearing it is that you never get much back. Really? Some random digits. Yeah. <laughs> Factor of 10. <laughs> okay. Sure. Sorry. Channel Vital Ocean Science intern was the one laughing at the shrimp. Who was? Uh, Chanel Vidal, Vidal. And um, the name of the video is Super Cool Shrimp Sightings. I can watch the video, but I can't hear it because the computer is not connected in that way. 
So those of you at home, for um, check it out. Super cool shrimp sightings. None of this live. I can't wait to hear it with the audio. Sometimes I envy people who like just laugh and make everybody else around them laugh. Yeah, it's a good quality to have. I want to be around them all the time because then I just end up laughing and that's my workout for the day, laughing. <laughs> Why work out when you can laugh the entire time? Definitely sounds more pleasant. Than doing burpees. <laughs> Agreed. <coughs> what depth are we at? The 2160. Ah, 2160, right in front of me. At three places. So, so, how long was that cable? It went ODI to belly, and then it it loops up north, and then yeah, but you pulled it back. So the hydrophone cable. Yeah. That is seventy meters. Seventy meters. Yeah. So it was. It, was, it looped 10 meters north of the hydrophone and then back to it when we first picked it up. And then we brought it back to the um, yeah. platform. But, but that's not where it really is. It's like maybe here now. So it should be. I think that should be okay. Oh no, here's the IP. So the IP should be here. As long as it's within 20 meters of the hydrophone. It's roughly 50, if, it, if we landed it there, I'm just getting a ballpark. Right? Yeah. Maybe within 15 meters of the hydrophone will be okay. On any side? Yeah, I think so. Because we had that 10 meter loop, loop to the north. To the north. So, should have the scope within a 15 meter radius of that. Mm. Actually, if it lands there, it's going to be really close because the belly is actually now probably right here. Yeah. <coughs> that would be convenient.
Cages are good. That's interesting. What? <clears throat> Atalanta and Herc are looking bang on south, but the nav screen Atalanta is not. Riddle me that. So, Hercules, you can see, is looking that way a little bit. And Argus is looking like that. Yeah, so the nav screen one is right, and I think the, the nav screen, GUI nav one right. is right. The GUI's wrong, I think. So that means, good night, Jake. So that means <laughs> there is an offset in the any file. I can poke and around. That's getting the raw. It's at least like 30 degrees. It's pretty significant. Maybe 45. down to 26. Do you want to stop a little shy of that? Because, I don't know. Well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is just not, this is not telling us 2,200 meters. This is telling he's, us deeper. He's so. got to, he's got to pay out. What did he say his payout was? 2,200. Yeah. Bring them down 25 and then we'll, we'll do a 100 or 10 or something like that. We'll come, Winch, we'll basically yeah. come down till we get a. Winch, nav. Go ahead. We're clear for you to continue paying out. Um, let us know when you're at 2,500 meters, please. Turn up the gain to ludicrous levels here, so we'll see it for sure. Ludicrous speed. How was the cake, Danny? It was good. It was uh, interesting with uh, they always are. bud seed on it. Well, sunflower seeds. What well, an interesting bud touch on seeds, cake. Maybe? Bud seed. Bird seed. <laughs> bird seed on the cake. <laughs> Better than frozen Skittles, I'll tell you that. You don't like frozen Skittles? On the cake? Oh, no, nah, I don't know about cake, but... Well, unless you want a free trip to the dentist. <laughs> um, and uh, they're never free. I wouldn't put it on the cake, but uh, frozen Skittles are delicious. <clears throat> you ever had gummy bears on your cake? This voltage looks a little low, right? Yeah, it's been hovering around there when we're up in the 40 some amp. That's uh, one, uh, 150 nominal. Yeah. Roger. Plus or minus 10%, right? So okay. that's plus it's right at the low end of the threshold. Yeah. On deck, it's like 130. Yeah. So. I'm afraid to diddle up anymore. <laughs> 500 volts. Yeah, that's that's something. That's something, all right. Going through two transformers, so it drops. So under load.
Yeah, that's worth a note in the red book to chase up later, which is right over there. Uh oh. It's got to be somewhere in the any file offset. Talk about the Atlanta hook offset. Yeah, it appears that the uh, the nav G Atlanta heading is correct, and it's a uh, good uh, fair bit off of. Uh, we got 160 on the GUI slash Grafana, and it's like. Looking south on uh, that's great. Yeah, I noticed that when I was right above Hook earlier. You know, I was like looking straight down, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm 45 degrees off." What's the what's the depth of the ocean floor here? Probably not too much, right? 26 something. Yeah, maybe like 30. 2660. Yeah. 2660. I was just gonna guesstimate that it's 30 meters below her. 34 meters below Herc. Cool. Thanks, Eureka. And Dan. Annoying that thing keeps moving north. I was wondering what the other two people were working on, but they're working on practicing knots. if it's kiting. I bet it is, huh? I ask the winch what their payout speed is.
Are they lowering a, a straw or a hydrophone array? Hydrophone array. That's what's happening. A oh, hydrophone array happening. is being lowered. Can you hear it? No. Me neither. <laughs> I'm glad I asked, answered that question correctly. I felt a lot of pressure. So for those of you just tuning in, Swim in there if you want, Jacob. we're standing by for the array to be lowered. Is that a rat tail? I can't tell. Probably, I don't know. Looks like it. Oh, I'm getting the vibe like uh, there's a movie with, I'm getting Harry Potter vibes. <laughs> that um, one of those bird thingies that fly that look like that. The talk about the thestrals, the the horses, the horse I, things. I think so. Hello. You're welcome. Like the the skeleton horses. Yeah. Yeah, the thestrals. But then I'm also getting um, what is that the the thing that f the golden snitch. <laughs> Those. Oh no. And the keys. Is it in the first movie? Oh, the, the flying keys. keys and their wings look like that. Sorry, my, my that brain. That makes more sense. My brain was like hunting through all its memory files to look for where I've seen this image before. Wonder where they got that image. Probably that. I wouldn't doubt it. It's kinda cool. What is our, how wide is our lasers? 10 centimeters. <clears throat> 10 He's, uh, it's out there a ways. So he's probably 10 centimeters wide, yeah. Because wow. he's far away. Hard to say. It's all in the lotion. Okay, you can go away. Thanks. So. Ahead. <clears throat> Now the hydrophone's probably getting out of the box, I'd say. I'd say it's trying to attack us. <laughs> <laughs> Say it's. I'm hoping it's kiting and it'll settle back in when we stop on the winch. But he's only doing 20 meters a minute, so. My my knee is cold, so like my leg is keeping the other knee warm.
Oh, good for another hundred, I think, for that. What do you say his depth was? 25? Argus is 75 meters off bottom. Yeah. So. Or I should. Another 50 meters or something? 60 meters? Something, something. <clears throat> We'll either pick it up in our sonar or he'll land it in Atlanta. <laughs> and we'll fly it over where we want it. <laughs> joking, I'm joking. It's uh, 10 meters away from us. Now it's going the right direction, slowly. Over the years of exploration of the deep ocean, have you seen any changes of the deep ocean as a result of climate, climate change or human actions? We saw a launch error earlier. Wow. Human actions? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Human actions for sure, because we saw the two <laughs> huge holes from the cork earlier at the site, yeah. and then this half buried what we think is a chair. So there are for sure traces from uh, us on the seafloor. <coughs> One could consider uh, miles and miles of cables and connectors and platforms. Significant change I've seen out here over the years. I used to come out here and there was nothing except a few science instruments that we had left the year before. And Alvin Waits. All these Alvin Waits. Now you don't have to go very far to find a cable road map. If you're lost, you can follow a cable and find an instrument or a platform. There it is. Yep, there it is. Oh yeah, right there. Peekaboo. <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> How tall is that? Oh, uh, it's taller than I am. I could probably reach up to the top if I was standing there. How tall are you, Dirk? You're like... 6'3". And it's taller than you? 
Oh, I think it's about almost close to nine feet tall or something. Mm. It's quite tall. He sure is putting those weights on a long strap nowadays. <laughs> So run out of his short ones. No, we have, we have a lot of four footers still. I yeah. just don't think any of them have been in the van watching it. I meant to uh, say something and I did not. You want to bump that guy up to thirty? Yeah. Yeah, Winch. Go ahead, Winch. Down 10. Roger, can you pay out another 10 meters, please? Roger, paying out 10 meters. Should I continue up to speed? 10 meters a minute. 10 meters a minute, please. Roger, paying out 10 meters, 10 meters per minute. 10 and 10. You can look down now, Jake, if you want. All right, uh, looking down. Just in case my TVL, the, the, not where I think I am. Coming back to the question how tall the array is, um, Greg on shore found out that the top hydrophone is 2.175 meters above the feet. 2.1 meters. Well, that's just the hydrophone. Then the lifting point's above that still. 10 meters but I don't know, maybe it's not 9 feet tall. Maybe it's 10 at 10. Roger, can we have another 10, please? Thank you. You said Another 10. Roger, can we have another 10 meters, please? I think I can bump that back down to uh, 20. 20 meters yep. now. Yeah, thanks. Another 10.
Uh, let's try five meters this time. Two meters. the other one out there at 20 meters so that's 15 meters to the other one see if it we'll watch it for a minute see if it swings back to the south uh, might, might be able to reach I can't oh, we hear don't. we just don't want to go north of the old one that's uh, um well, we have 10 meters of cable to extend north of the old one. It's just, depending on where the panel is, it's kind of gets five meters north of the old one might be fine still. We really? Can, we, uh, I thought we had all kinds of slack Yeah, there. we did have a lot of slack. Okay, forget that. The old nav might just be wrong. Because, yeah, we had, we had a fair bit of slack down there. Yeah, we had a 10 meter loop. Yeah, loop. yeah. So. That's the slack we have on the cable, is that's 10 meters, yeah. So over much, as long as we can still plug it in. I'm going to watch it for a minute, see if it continues to... 15 meters would be too far. Yeah, ratchet. <coughs> What's the boat setting? Never mind, I know. Uh, I'm trying to do the math here, so if they suck in the crane, it goes the wrong way. Uh, never mind. Is that, what is our distance? As long as the distance of the IP is less than, is, is around 65 or less, then that is fine. It's only a 70 meter cable, so. Okay. Yeah. We measured it already, and the IP is probably right here. Fif I think it's 50, 55, 60 maybe. Yeah. 55? Yeah, that should reach. It's a 70 meter cable, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just, we're gonna fly the hook without letting go and all that mumbo jumbo. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, it's yeah, anything within a 60 meter radius of IP is fine. Mm, doesn't seem to be moving. No. Let's move the boat 10 meters south, see what happens. See if it moves or if Atalanta moves. That's my concern. Bridge nav. Can we move one zero meters south, please? Thank you. Do you want to fly north and pull Atalanta that way? No, it'll just swing back when we come back to play with it. Here. I think it'll swing back to the south. I don't know. 
Current's pushing it north. I would, uh, I could grab it and push it south. Ten meters out in front of Atalanta. Yeah, right. <coughs> You want to get the magnum out, Jake? Yep. Let's do it. Yeah, this will be all different with more sea state. Uh, it's be a little harder on our magnum. Gonna bite me in a rhino if I rip it off land in this hydrophone. He's talking to you, Jake. No, I'm talking <laughs> to you, Dirk. <laughs> Is that your manip of choice? Uh, We've been vying for another one anyway. I so. think a lion would be a great <laughs> addition. Wouldn't be my manip of choice, no. What do you want, a rig master? Two T fours. Well of course. And a complete redesign of the frame. Uh, it's a bigger bracket. I like the look of the Magnum. It's got his battle scars. For this kind of work, I'd have a frickin' Rigmaster on there. That's what I was thinking would be a good uh, replacement, would be a big master. Yeah, it makes it easy to grab. Jaws open like 12 inches. Uh, Down more? Yeah, you might have to put it out there a little more. Make right, it yeah. harder for me to grab it. How many function is the Wigmaster? It was five function. Five, yeah. This is kind of a nice frame for the build of this ROV. It kind of slopes in. Boxes are difficult. I'm going to turn on the down lights here so I can see that in front of the vehicle. There you go. What about the Atlas? Would that be a good solution? Or is the Atlas kind of junky? No, it would be a great radar arm for this. Um, you can rest left a bit so it's sticking out more. I'm easier for me to Roger. drive into it straight. A little more, maybe. Yeah, yeah a little this is like a It's really lining up well without our hydrophone on our side at the top. What's that? It's lining up perfectly without a hydrophone at the top of the thing to worry about. The hydrophone, the height, the tall one is on the other end of the frame. Oh, yeah. Well, it's moved the whole two meters away. It's gotten a little closer to Atalanta, the wire. Yeah. Eight meters now. We have the winch come down another one meter. Weight in water is only 50 kilograms. Of this thing? No, uh, the oh, Atlas. No, no, no. One meter data. OK. 
Okay, I'm going to grab it, push it south a bit before we let it go. weights. <laughs> Forgot they're hanging down though. Seven meters is not very much, is it? No. Nope. It's kind <laughs> of a funny on deck there. Well, <laughs> he's got the weights hanging down on a 10 meter strap there, so. Uh, it's only a seven meter strap. A seven meter, so, but the weights are a couple meters, so. Yeah, so you're probably dealing with like five or something there. Yeah. Uh, turn that jaw to the left just a little bit. So. Uh, rotate left on the jaw rotate a little bit. Left, yep. That's good, thanks. <clears throat> Trying to come back down for you, but not too far. It's, it's even pretty good. Yeah, it is. I <laughs> can't get it. Uh, can you jaw left a little bit? I mean, uh, wrist left? Yep. Well, I like can't come straight in. It wants to go sideways. I don't know if I'm touching the wire at the bumper or not. I don't think so. Wrist up. Yeah. Would the ROV be able to hold it if it's moving up and down like that? Yeah, it's going to be less of a rodeo actually if we grab it like this. Otherwise, the hook will be flopping up and down all over, and it'll be really chasing the wire. Right, right now it's just going straight up and down. If we okay. land it, then it's going to be all over your instrument and you okay. know, beating the hell out of your instrument. Sure, if it, yeah. The ROV floats, right? So it'll just move around with the wire if I can ever get on the thing. There. Uh, let me come down just a little bit. Just loose the jaw. That's good. Grab, grab, grab. Oh. Perfect. pretty good. <laughs> I'm surprised. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, um, just loose the jaw. We're going to slide down the wire a little bit. It's loosened. Oh, right. wait, the heave will pull it up. Okay, grab. Fucked. Roger. All right, where do you want this thing? Uh, anywhere where we can still plug it in. I think uh, this is probably close enough from what we saw. Oh, this is this is close enough. Mm. We're really close to that, right? <laughs> yeah, I can put it wherever you want it. I think uh, I'll put it over here so we can back up and hook this one up. Sure. Yeah, this is good. Okay, Lynette, come down. Uh, uh, hold on. Hold on. 
Uh, get the seven out and ready, but don't grab the hook yet. You could probably uh, swing your magnum wrist to the right a little bit. That's good. Okay, come down easy on the winch. You just want like a meter? Just come down easy, I'll tell you when to stop. Okay. Winch, nav. Slow it. Come slow, slow. Can you come down slow on the winch and we will tell you when to stop? Roger. Okay, you can grab the hook now and open up. Or just get ready to put your jaws on it, get ready to close. If you can get it from there. Come all stop on the winch. Winch, winch, all stop, please. Uh, come up on the Roger. shoulder there, Jake, so you can reach it. Roger. Or I can come up for you if you got your hands full. Yeah. Just, just can't come down too much with the um, yeah. hydrophones down there. Yeah, obviously we don't want to kiss any of the jewelry there. Poke it once, see if you can touch it. <laughs> I gotta, sorry, I gotta come right up here for you. Damn freeze. I'll hit that hydrophone. I hit the button four times. <laughs> freeze. All right. Okay, I'd say you can grab it. We'll open the hook and then land it. Or it'll fall out of the hook and hit the seabed. Go ahead, grab it. Okay. Ah. Swing it right a bit more for you. Okay, come down on the winch. Winch, can you come down slow? Roger. Uh, I'm coming down slow continuously until you tell me otherwise. When you get a little slack, Jake, rotate your wrist out of there. <coughs> Roger. All stop, please. Hooks off. All Roger. Stop. Roger. Release the pink. Nope. Nope. Hold on. Just going to come back and up till I get uh, belly out in front of us here. That's what we want to see. Okay, you can move the boat south uh, 10 meters. Bridge now. Can we have one zero meters south, please? Thank you.
wires about five meters from Atlanta. Yeah, Roger. Just turn that line of setting? Nope. Oh, I'm pulling it. Sorry. Okay, Jake. Let go. Come up. Um, come up a couple meters on the winch. Roger that. Coming up. Wait. No, not you. Uh, deck winch. Oh, sorry. Deck winch. <laughs> winch now. Oh. Hey. Um. Can you come up two yeah, meters, I see it. please? Yeah, I see it. Two meters, hold up. Roger. Uh, another two meters. Winch now. Go ahead. Can you come up another two meters, please? Roger, hauling in two meters. So that's on the right side, right? Right side of Atlanta. Roger. <coughs> it 
did pass that way to the left in front of the screen though. Try to It passed to the left in front of the screen. Yeah, I'm trying to wrap my head around that, no pun intended, but <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I turn Atlantis head to the left, I should see it, right? Yeah, but I'm reluctant to do that just okay. now. <clears throat> Can reduce, uh, I'll do it. Okay, I'll take that 10 back to the north. Bridge nav. Can we have one zero meters north, please? Thank you. 